Hi, hey, hello, it's me, the man, the boy. Um, I just wanted to start the video by saying a huge thank you to my Patreon supporters. You guys are absolutely amazing and are the reason I can do what I do. So a massive thank you. And if you wanted to check out my Patreon, link is in the description. And uh, enjoy the video. Oh, I haven't done a video like standing in front of a camera in so long. This light is also... Oh, it's death. It's- I hate it. Would you want to stare at this? Would you want to stare at this while you try and be entertaining? <laughs> try is the key word. Damn, it looks good though. <laughs> Alright, on with the video. Hey, it's Demo, and recently I decided my life is a fucking mess. Uh, I mean, I didn't decide. I more realized. <laughs> uh, and I realized it ages ago, but recently I decided to actually do something about it. And, uh, I'm- I'm trying. And I don't just mean my life is messy in the metaphorical way, it's kind of very literally messy. Like, I have so much shit. I have so much stuff because I've never really needed to throw everything away because I've always had my childhood room just as a storage unit, and that's what I'm living in now. And I've kind of... There's so much shit. Oh my god. So basically what's happened is I've recently moved back into my childhood room which was full of my childhood shit and stuff that I thought I wanted slash needed to keep which is, it's not, it's not a very big room. It's, it's pretty average, it's not tiny, it's average. But I moved back into this room which was already full of my old shit with uh, an entire granny flat's worth of belongings. There is nowhere to fucking put them. Uh, and now I have just filled up the lounge room with boxes of crap. I, I don't even know. Oh, there's so much crap. So I, I took a good hard look at all my crap, basically, and... You right there, Sandra? Just sneezing at my door? Rattus. So I took a good hard long look at all of my crap and decided that it, most of it just needs to go. It just needs to- it just needs to fucking go. I've always really respected people who can live a true minimalist lifestyle and kind of just have the bare necessities and nothing else. And I never thought, nor do I really think now that I could ever do that, but I want to try as hard as possible and get rid of just kind of all the extra shit that I really clearly don't need because it's been sitting in this room. I thought I was popular. It is, it is actually just my boyfriend though. Still feels nice. Mm. Fuck, what was I saying? Basically, if it's been sitting in this room for pretty much an entire year and I haven't needed it, wanted it, thought about it, and most of the time... Goodbye. The point is, I forgot a lot of the stuff existed, so clearly I don't need it. So I should probably get rid of it. So I'm gonna go through all of my belongings, literally everything I own, and decide whether I want to keep it to take to the UK, because uh, just in case I didn't mention, I'm moving to the UK in January, hopefully. Cool, moving on from that. Sell it to make some money, hopefully to go towards moving towards the UK. Uh, where, where is this? Where am I going with this? Sandra, you're so distracting. Considering I'm moving to the UK, I can only take two suitcases and one carry-on and a backpack, and that is pretty much it. So I want to minimize my life to just that. One single box of stuff that I keep here for memories and shit. Memories and shit, you know. Very sentimental of me. And then everything else I'm either going to chuck or sell, so that, uh, that is only mildly intimidating. Um, yes. Anyway, with all that being said, I've been putting off doing this for about a week and a half because, like, I wasn't ready. I don't really, I don't really know what my excuse actually was. But I'm gonna, I'm gonna get started now. Uh, so if you like videos of people stressing out because they're throwing away absolutely everything they've ever owned, cool, this is for you. Ah. I'm probably gonna take all that stuff down so I can repaint the wall because I've got like little shit bits in it that I, uh, I don't I don't think look ideal. They don't look great. Kinda looks like I rubbed my anus against the wall one day. I didn't. Not not that I remember. Anyway, that's what I've done so far. That's pretty much it. Also, this mirror is new as well. That one right there, my GoPro is sitting in front of. I uh, found that on the side of the road recently and I think it actually makes my room look way bigger. Uh, and also it's the first 
full length mirror I've ever owned, so I'm very happy about that. I've got my GoPro set up in the corner to film a time lapse with a very bright light. I don't know why I keep doing this to myself. Oh, that's right, because my photography bulbs blue. Cool. And, uh, I will check in on this camera if anything exciting happens, but hey, I low key hope that it doesn't. I'm keeping a lot more than I thought I would, uh, but it's mostly things that I'm not going to be taking with me when I move, like cleaning products and games for consoles that I'm not bringing with me that I will be leaving here and stuff like that. But it's just kind of things you don't really think about when you plan on cleaning out everything in your life. So I'm not really too bothered by it, it's just it's a surprise. Anyway, I need rubber bands now, because uh, I've got to... I've got to organize this. <laughs> Oh fuck. Alright, so I just got this like new makeup case today. It's one of those foldy out ones. It's got sections and, and all that good shit. Look at it go. Okay, great. I love it. It's got like pretty... Anyway, I'm gonna try and put all of my makeup into this because at the moment it's taking up an entire drawer and I think it'd be a lot more efficient if it was in something that I could like store away so that drawer could be used for things that I access on a more regular basis even though I do use my makeup a lot. But this bag kind of opens up fully and I can see all my makeup, so it's actually, if anything, going to be more convenient than just a tray full of makeup that's kind of messy. So this uh, hopefully works out and hopefully is a good idea. So I accidentally just organized the entire thing without recording it because I forgot to press record on my GoPro. But here it is, um, my thing's all organized. I've got this little bag down the bottom that detaches, that's got all my like daily basics and things like that. So like foundation, primer, brows, tinted moisturizer, all of that. Then uh, these three sections have eye stuff, so eyeliners and, and mascara. Then we've got weird color lipsticks and then more natural color lipsticks next to that. And then above that we have kind of everything else. Um, which is great that the thing's clear because I can see what the hell everything else actually means. Uh, and then up the top we've got a contour palette and my latest palette that my sister bought me. Uh, and I couldn't fit all my palettes in here but I didn't expect to. I'm actually really impressed that I was able to fit this much in here because it looks fucking great. And this is literally everything I need to do a drag look. I don't need anything else. And it, it's just like a little handbag. It's very gay, but very convenient. Right, so I am 100% done for today. I've taken out pretty much everything I don't want in this room. Some of it's going to come back in because I didn't really know where I wanted to put it just yet. And the main goal of today was just to clear space so that I could actually put the things that I want to keep in the room. So I've cleared everything underneath my bed, uh, everything underneath my TV unit, underneath my rat's cage, and I've cleared out so many clothes in my wardrobe and a bunch of other shit and just... There's a lot of space in here now and my room looks so much better. I'm so happy about it. Oh, oh my god, holy shit, bet you didn't expect that. So it's the next day and as you can tell my room is looking... Up Kind of mostly the same, to be honest, but also very different, um, better. Yesterday I got rid of a shit ton of stuff, I've got a whole bunch of stuff ready to sell and to throw out, and I kind of organized what was already in my room. So now I'm ready to go into the living room, which is full of shit, and I'm gonna try and figure out what out of that I want to sell, what out of that I want to throw away, and what out of that I want to bring into my room, and organize. And it's gonna take some time. I actually did yesterday surprisingly quickly. I was pretty impressed with myself, but I was also fucking exhausted by the end of it. So I've had a good sleep, and I'm ready to get stuck into this mess. Let's do it. I like having like space to do this. I mean, you would too. All right. <laughs> I 
Okay, so just a bit of an update. Um, I've been cleaning for many, many hours now. I think I've gone through about another five or six boxes. I, I literally don't even know. Got another bag of garbage here. Got some uh, recycling garbage here. I think I have like two boxes worth of stuff to go through now and decide whether it is or isn't garbage, which is basically all I've been doing all day. Love it. So all of this is rubbish. I've already thrown out like six bags prior to that. These are my not rubbish boxes, so I've got to decide what of that uh, might actually be rubbish and what I want to sell and what I want to keep. Those are all empty boxes, and then everything left here I have to go through. So like, whatever's on the couch and whatever's on that table and whatever's on the floor. So roughly two boxes worth of stuff. And Bailey's helping. Good job. Good job. Oh, and also I have like those three bags of clothes over there to donate as well. And um, yeah, teal. So I'm done for the day, slash done for the night. What time is it? It's 10.43. I've been gone for many, many hours. Um, my room kind of more or less looks exactly the same as it did this morning. Nothing in here has really changed, apart from I put my light up rose thing there and I think that looks cute. So all of this is garbage to be thrown out. All of that. Uh, and I threw out about that much of garbage. That much of garbage? Yesterday, good English. I'm pretty happy about that. Oh yeah, here's a picture that I need to put up tomorrow as well. I really physically can't do that right now. It's day number three in me trying to get my shit together and chuck out pretty much the majority of my belongings. And it's actually going surprisingly well. It's been incredibly liberating so far. I've been very anxious to do this because I am very sentimental as a person and I do have a lot of hoarder tendencies, so getting rid of things is something I don't usually like doing. However, I kind of just reached a breaking point this time and went, nah, fuck it. I really need to be brutal and get rid of things that I don't use. And my rule is kind of like, if I'm like, oh, I might use it, it's going. Because if I might use it, that's not good enough for me anymore because most of the stuff that I might use just end up sitting there taking up space forever. So I've been really brutal and I've just kind of like chucked everything and I'm pretty happy about that so far. Feels pretty good. Once I started, I couldn't really stop. I'm not complaining about that, but... All right, I don't really have anything left to say. I'm gonna start cleaning now. Ah! So far down here I have my art drawer, my electricals drawer, my electronicals, uh, and my random shit drawer that's just like, I don't really know if I will use this, but I might, but I'll chuck it away later if I need to, or if I need this box for something else, this is the first one that'll uh, have be thrown out. I don't really care about any of that stuff, but I know it won't sell for anything, and I might use it and it's not taking up that much space. You know how it is? You know how it is. Holy shit, I'm done. <laughs> My room is actually finished now. Um, boy, I might take those off, I haven't decided yet. Other than that, it's done. Everything that I own is actually in this room now, which is quite impressive considering it's not a very big room. So I've got containers under my bed, I've got storage under the TV unit and under my, hold on, here we go, and under my radis, and then some things stored in there. But that's it. That's it. That is my life. Organized, minimized, cleaned out, sorted. I, oh, I feel so fucking good. <laughs> Holy shit. I highly recommend this if you're someone who suffers from anxiety. I mean, if you know it's actually gonna be worse for your anxiety, don't do it. But for me personally, it felt so good to just clean out all the shit I know I didn't need, have sort of a fresh start and organize everything so I know where things are. And it's already just generally lowered my anxiety levels, which is pretty fucking amazing. Uh, also, if you don't have anxiety, I just highly recommend having a good clean out of your life. Fuck, it feels good. I'm gonna reward myself with a cone and uh, an ice cream, uh, and then I'm gonna finish the cleaning in the other rooms, but that is pretty much it for this video. I might make a separate video 
uh, showing you my organization system, and I also want to make a separate video going through my memory box that I've made uh, that just consists of like old tickets and little things I've picked up while traveling and stuff like that. I definitely want to make a video going through that because that could be fun. But that was pretty much it for this minimizing, cleaning, whatever, organizing series, if it was a series. I don't know what the fuck I've done with this video, but thank you for watching to this point. If you did, I highly, highly appreciate it. More content is coming your way. It's going to be a lot easier now that I am organized and sorted. Everything's going to be easier. Uh, but yeah, I'll see you in the next video, but until then, fuck off.